The profit stories, profit stories are amazing, are amazing. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. We like to hear the profit stories, profit stories. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikum assalam. How are you, children? Alhamdulillah. We are fine. We like to hear profit stories from you. Okay, mashallah. That's very good. The stories of the prophet are important for all Muslims. Inshallah, today we will learn about the prophet Ermaya peace be upon him. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's start. Bismillah. After Sulaiman peace be upon him's death, 300 years passed. The people of Israel's situation became worse. They were forgetting about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and started to worship the idol Baal as their god again. But this time, they even killed many prophets. So, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala became very angry at Bani Israel. He decided to destroy the people and their cities. But as the last warning, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Prophet Ermaya, or in English, Jeremiah, to guide Bani Israel. Why do Bani Israel always go back to worshipping Baal as their god? Is there a history behind the idol Baal? Well... After Prophet Musa, peace be upon him's death, Bani Israel finally made it to Palestine. And from the beginning, they loved idol worshipping. Their male idol name was Eel, which they considered to be the father of the idols. And his face looks like a cow. That idol had a wife and her name was Ashara, which they considered as the mother of the idols. That idol couple had more than 70 children and grandchildren. Among them, one of the idol's name was Baal. He was considered to be the god of rain and growth, and the lord of earth and heavens. So, the idol Baal was considered to be the most powerful god. He had two idol wives. The people kept one of the wife on the north side of the country, and her name was Anathoth. And the other wife people kept on the south side of the country and her name was Asharat. These two wives was considered to be the goddess of love and childbirth. For some reason, the people of Bani Israel believed in this kind of crazy made-up stories. Wow, that's really weird. How did they even believe in that? That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told Jeremiah that he would destroy Bani Israel. When Prophet Jeremiah heard this, he started to cry and requested to forgive Bani Israel. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him to go to the king and the people of Israel and guide them to become good and accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their God and they should follow Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's laws. Prophet Jeremiah also tried to convince the people that it was their last chance, otherwise they would be destroyed. The people of Israel were very bad. They rejected his advice. They even told him that he was a liar. But he was a true prophet from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. How can they say that he was a liar? For some reason, Bani Israel was always arrogant, no matter how many miracles they were shown. They could not believe that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would destroy the Solomon Temple and the Dome of Rock. As you know, in present time, these two things are in the Baytul Muqaddas or Masjid Al-Aqsa. The king was so arrogant that he ordered to arrest the Prophet and sent him to prison. And that was their final mistake. 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent their enemy, which was the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, to attack Israel. His big army surrounded the city. The Israel army surrendered and opened their gate. Thousands of Babylon's army got into the city and they were very cruel. They killed one third of the entire population of Israel. It was a horrible moment for Bani Israel. The land was covered by people with blood. Dead bodies were all over the place. The Babylonians only set the disabled and old people free. But unfortunately, they arrested the rest as their slaves. They destroyed all of Bani Israel's houses. They even destroyed all of their beautiful castles and temples. Babylon's army burned all of their holy books, including the Torah. They were very rude with the children and women. And it was the most terrible day for Bani Israel. Why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give them such a big punishment. The children of Prophet Israel was a very respected nation to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They had lots of powerful prophets to guide and protect them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave them many opportunities to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and become good people. But unfortunately, they always broke Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law. They even killed many prophets and continued their idol worship. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala became very angry and destroyed the whole nation. One day, the king of Babylon heard that one of Bani Israel's prophets knew about this disaster in advance, and that prophet's name was Jeremiah. The king ordered to bring him from the prison. After talking to the prophet Jeremiah, the king realized that he really was the prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The king let the prophet go as a free man. After destroying the whole city, the king of Babylon went back to his kingdom with valuable treasures as well as men, women, and children with him. The historians say he took about 70,000 men and woman with him as slaves. After that, a new beginning started for Bani Israel from that moment. Prophet Jeremiah, peace be upon him, told the people, whoever was in the city of Israel, to say sorry to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask forgiveness from him. He also told them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted them to stay united and rebuild the town. But most of them did not want to stay in that destroyed country. They again refused to follow the Prophet's order. And so, they spread all over the world. Some of them moved to Hijar, Taif, and Medina. Others moved to Egypt and some other countries. But Prophet Jeremiah tried his best to rebuild Israel. Some historians say later he moved to Egypt and he died over there. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best. Oh, before you go, let me remind you that we really need your help. Any kind of support by giving a one-time donation or becoming a monthly member of the whole thing would be sadaqazariya for you, inshallah. Inshallah, next time, we will learn another beautiful story of the prophets the prophet story